Here's a little video about getting your files onto your jump drive. So I got my jump drive plugged in here. And then real quick, I'll just show you how you find it. You go down to your start menu here and you click it. You come up to computer. You will see all your different drives. And it says removable disk F. It'll be probably something different on yours depending on where it's plugged in at. Double click it. <clears throat> and that is all the files that are currently on that jump drive. So now I'm just going to drag it over here so I know where it's at. I'm going to open up Silhouette Studio. I have a file open here that I've already created, or you can just create one. doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Go to File, pull down to Save As, <clears throat> and then come over here, Save As, and then where you are saving it to is the big deal. So you want to save it as you want to save it to a different place. So you're going to go up here in the drop down menu and you're going to find your disk. So for me it's right here. It says removable disk F. Click there. Type my title and then either save or enter and boom it's saved to my jump drive. Another way that you can do it <clears throat> is to choose if you know where you're saving your other stuff at where your files are being saved at. So like here I have somewhere I saved to my desktop. Um, let's see. No, that's an embroidery one. It doesn't matter, but if you have a file saved to your desktop, like here, you can just, as long as you have your file folder open over here, you can click and drag it and it'll, you can drag a copy right into your other one. And see, boom, there it just popped up. So that's one way to do it. So if you ever want to save a bunch of files to your desktop and then drag them one at a time to your folder, you can also do that. Hang on, B-Man. So you can save as, and you can save it anywhere you want. So I like to save all my stuff to my desktop. And then when I'm ready to save everything, see where it says desktop right there? And then when I'm ready to put stuff onto my jump drive, I just do that. So now I'm on my desktop, and I got my file all typed in. If I want to change the name, I can. And then I hit OK. And now that file, which is Chase Toddler, will be on my desktop somewhere. Do -do -do -do. I don't see it, but I know that it's there. Hmm. Chase the tab. Oh, there it is right there. So then I can click it and drag it over here. And there you go. And it's just telling me that I already have it in there. So, you know. But there's a couple different ways that you can save to a jump drive.